the Ten Commandments and Moses and the Ants, Part 4 of 13, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on April 15, 2021. Okay, any more question, my love? Master, what happens to the deities if we uh, destroy their trees or their area that they overlook? Now, sometimes they can find another tree or another place to stay, sometimes not. They just have to be just like a homeless, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they might find some other refuge somewhere or they have to be on the street crying. Yeah. Just like us, humans, if we don't have a home, then we become homeless, okay? Mm. That's what it is. But the tree deity who became homeless, just one, but we, all of us humans, are billions. If we continue destroying one tree after another and keep killing our co-inhabitants, the animals, then we will have nowhere to go. We become worse than homeless. We become planetless, wordless. And the children after us, we inherit all these terrible things that we have been and are doing still to the planet, to the environment, to the animals. Because if we cut trees and destroy forests, we also destroy the habitats of the living, you know, the visible beings like birds and uh, monkeys, orangutans, yes, yes. yeah, and birds and bees and butterflies, all these are contributing to the benefit of our lives. Bees contribute a lot to the food production anyway. And, and bees are, or have been dying in countless numbers. And the food we're having now is getting more and more expensive every day. Yes. You know that, if you read the news. Okay, huh? The price of the food has never been so high because we're having food shortage. Because we destroy natural environments and kill bees by insecticides and also the pandemic right now. You know, one thing leads to another. Everything is, seems like pounding on humans' uh, existence right now. Truly want to destroy humans. But most people are living like blind, deaf, and dumb. See nothing, hear nothing, don't think of anything. This is a very sad thing and very, very, uh, how do you say, worrisome thing. Yes, yes Master. Yes. Uh, okay, a anything else, my love? No, Master, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Okay, because you asked a question, I just remember a story uh, from a Buddhist story book, okay? I don't know, maybe I didn't tell you before. There was uh, one time the Buddha incarnated as a, a gecko. You know gecko, small one, or salamander, they call it? Yes. 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 About like this? Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Looks like a crocodile, but very small. About this? Yes. <laughs> very small, okay? About the size of my thumb, yeah? Biggest uh, is about the size of my thumb and about this long, very long tail. Mm. Right look similar to those that crawl on the wall sometimes, yeah? Yes. 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 If you live in the countryside, they have it. In the city, you don't see. Okay, one time the Buddha incarnated as this uh, one of the salamanders, and he befriended a tree deity. And this tree deity had a child also. Okay. And at one time, the king of that country uh, wanted to cut that tree the tree that was her home, because that tree was very valuable to repair something in uh, in the palace of the king. So they uh, saw that uh, tree was very, uh, very good, suitable. Every other tree was either too small, too soft, and not good. So they wanted to cut that tree down. The deity of the tree holding her kid was crying and crying. And every other nearby neighbor, other trees, deities, or grass deities, or uh, everyone in that garden came to ask her what's wrong. She said, they are going to cut down my house, and I don't know where to go. 
I have nowhere to go. And then saw the, the salamander, was her friend, I came to her a comfort and said, oh, don't worry, I have an idea. They will not cut your tree, don't worry. So nobody understood how the little salamander could stop all these strong, powerful, uh, you know, woodsmiths who were going with uh, saw and axe in order to chop down that tree. Nobody understood. But he said, I will stop it. So everybody went home but feeling very doubtful in their minds. And the next morning, these uh, woodsmiths who were going to repair the palace, the column in the palace were kind of uh, rotten or something. So they were going to chop down that tree. They were going there. But the salamander, he went onto the tree, okay, uh, from the root on. And then he just, like, disappeared. And then he went up to the the top of the tree and picked out, yeah, as if there was a tunnel inside the tree that he could go from the bottom to the top, from the root to the uh, high branch. So he kept doing that up and down, up and down, <laughs> like a teasing them. He used his power to go uh, under the, the root and then disappear inside the tree and then pop out from this place, that place, here and there. So the carpenters, they talk to each other, they say, ah, this tree, it looks so strong and good, but inside is already rotten and empty. Like sometimes the trees are eaten inside by uh, like white ants or some other uh, insects that eat the wood, yeah? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So they thought, oh, this tree is eaten from inside already. Because they saw the salamander go from one place to another, from inside and pop out, and inside pop out again, all over the place. <laughs> so they thought the inside of the tree trunk is all hollow, yeah? yeah? So they say, oh, no good, no good, we better go elsewhere, look somewhere else. So the, the tree was saved yeah. mm. oh, wow. by a little, little salamander, <laughs> so little. <laughs> so everybody you know, was very, very impressed <laughs> with the salamander. And the deity of the tree was very, very happy, of course, yeah? Mm. And they are even better friends than ever. So you never know, you know, the animals, even though they're small, like the bees and all that, or spiders, they are your friends. And you never know what they will do to help you or to rescue you. Even just to tell you some good news or bad news or to comfort you, like the wild animals around me, even the the crickets and the uh, little salamander as well, and spiders and birds, small birds, big birds and squirrels and skunks, they, they even came to comfort me when I came to the new place because I was so depressed. So tired, being alone and moving so many things and just, I just made the other place ready, okay? Ready for working and for conference and just relax a little bit and then had to move again. Everybody hates moving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah? yeah. And especially when you're all alone and not used to all this technical stuff and so many th instruments. I had to move so quick like that, you know, just throw everything in a plastic bag and wonder if they still function after. And I was sitting there, I was so tired. I could not even rest and meditate, I was so tired and so despondent. And I was thinking, how am I going to work again? I'm so tired now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time, we have not had a conference. I'm supposed to have it and then I had to move and then I have to do it all over again. And and a new plug and don't have enough plugs, don't have enough multi plugs, I don't <laughs> the internet, I don't know where it works and all kind of things. Don't have enough electric plug hole and socket and all that stuff. And everything on top of each other because of of the rush, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't always have time to listen to all these emails until the last minute. This often like this. Often I don't always have time to catch the news. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And then until kind of last minute, I had to run. Mm. Sometimes I know more in advance, sometimes not. 
And, and then they all came and made a lot of singing noises outside their music, <laughs> comforting me, telling me not worry, don't worry. You are safe here now. It's wonderful. Mm. This and that will not come. Keep comforting me every day. Yeah, even until today. They don't just say it one time. They come back again and again to reinforce the energy, to make me feel better, not just the talk. You see what I'm saying? The energy of it. Yes. They build it up. Keep saying the same thing, build it up so that I feel more confident and good and bless me and all that as much as they can. I am in tears all the time whenever I remember them. They're so kind and so considerate and so loving, loving. Come and comfort me even, not just to tell me when it's trouble, but come and comfort me, knowing that I'm very down, you know, physically, mentally. Yes. Uh, I'm a master, but that's the soul, okay? The physical is the same like yours. I get old, I get tired, I get sometimes feeling very helpless also, okay? Yeah, yes, so they came, a bunch of them, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah, the spiders and all that just go in front of me and stay there until I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I say, oh, I'm busy right now. I know you say the same thing, right? So I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I say, okay, I heard that already. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I cannot just stand there and listen. I have to do work. Okay, I'm alone. I must work. But then I say, thank you. I heard you. I know. I know. I heard you. Thank you. So they say we have to enforce it, <laughs> reinforce it. Then I'm so touched, you know, by them. So touched, so touched. If all humans are kind like that, we are in paradise. Yeah. Yeah. No need to, to practice anything anywhere. Not go to heaven, nothing. This world will be Eden again. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. But we don't have that. <sighs> Sadly, we don't have all that. We don't have people who really understand the impact that we are doing to ourselves by destroying the environments and killing others. <sighs> Even our own race, killing our own human race. Very sad, very sad. I remember all the masters who came and went, they just take care of whomever is following them, believing them, and the rest, they don't care, you know? They just let it be. Maybe they care, but relaxingly, not, not like me, so urgent, so, so desperate, so pressurizing myself like this day and night. Mm -hmm. 